Hey YouTube, welcome to our barn. We figured that at some point we we're gonna have to do a barn tour and I guess today might as well be the day. Where do you wanna start? Feed room. Feed room, all right. This is where we keep the groceries. So it's a little not organized right now ish, but supplement table, which Ryder smart packs are there along with some other stuff for the horses and then our grain trash cans alfalfa and coastal and a hungry rider in blue in the background knowing that it's almost dinner time the flooring in all of the stalls which you will see later is these rubber mats and underneath the rubber mats is this base material and so we didn't have enough mats to completely do this one so what we did is we actually took the strips that we cut from the other mats put them here um, as just kind of like a temporary base and then i think what we'll do is either come back with poured concrete or we'll actually get full stall mats, put them down here. But for now, it works really well. Okay. Tack room, next. His and hers tack room. Uh, I need to order more shelves because we're kind of out of room here, but grooming products, vet, basic vet care, clippers, cookies, excess, Stuff. obviously it looks like a tack store and then we have our tack wall my dressage saddle flanked by Barrett's roping saddles bridles his and hers and then the thing I'm most proud of is my saddle pad wardrobe I love saddle pads um, it's my weakness so I like being able to look at them and then we just have some extra hooks storage and that's pretty much it Wife's side, miscellaneous, my two saddles here, some uh, some bridles, and my, well I guess look, my wife's is color coordinated by saddle pads, and then I have color coordinated ropes all in my rope bag, um, and then the tack trunk, that's just for shows. Um, but yeah, we do need to get some more shelves. I think that's probably the only thing that we're really missing. I'll order it next week. Because then we yeah. can just stick it right there and then that'll help. And whichever out. ones these are, get these again because these were super easy. It's like a, basically like a big Lego piece and that's it. Like it's super easy. All right, let's keep rolling. All right, so just out of the tack room, we have our little seating area. Barry to help me do the horse portrait um, on the wall for some art. And then we set our cross tie mats in the center with our extra long cross ties. And then I really loved that quote, it's really true, so we hung it in the barn um, because it's a good reminder for every day. Moving on to the horses. Everyone has a nice roomy stall, feed doors that open like this so we can put they're green in here. We really kind of don't use these because I like the horses to eat off of the ground. Everyone has a fan over top with the coinciding outlet. And then we have on both sides of the barn, we have cold and hot water with these awesome hoses that I found at Amazon. They're like, they don't kink. They're actually metal, they came with a nozzle. And then I found the hangers on Amazon as well because I'm big into organization. So everything has to be clean and tidy. And then the same thing on this side, we have the retirement row with Smoke and Leah. They have their cold and hot water and everyone also has Himalayan salt blocks in their stalls so they get their minerals and they keep drinking water. For those of you that might be wondering, this is a barn master barn. So um, it's, we've never had one or I've never had one. Have you before? Okay, so I've never had a barn master barn, but I was really impressed by with the quality uh, of this whole thing. I mean, all of these bars are aluminum. They're super sturdy. They're welded in there. All of these latches are really nice. They, they provide exactly what we need. Um, 
yeah, I was super thrilled. I wasn't quite sure what to what to think and, and when they were putting it up, but I mean, this thing has absolutely turned out fantastic. We love it. So yeah, 1010 recommend. So then if we walk out the front of the barn, we have our nice front porch that overlooks our arena and our walkway to the arena. We have paddocks that are going up, which Barrett has talked to you guys about before. We're gonna have three paddocks out here, but we're waiting on some parts from our fencing company. And then over here, we kind of made this the impromptu wash rack. We put down four mats here, and then we have our cross ties on either side so the horses can park here stand here while they get hosed off and then we did a 50 foot metal hose out here as well moving on to one of our favorite parts about this whole property is our arena it's 90 percent done ish but 90. the arena 95 uh the arena is 75 by 125 which is dressage length it's, close roughly mm -mm. Like a small size dressage okay. arena close enough it's definitely not big enough for roping or anything like that uh, but we just we didn't need that we just needed exercise so we have absolutely loved it so far we did a three rail um, i think it's 48, 48 inches okay. high yeah i think it's 48 inches high it is really sturdy steel pipe i think this is an inch and a half or so um, crushed granite mix um, uh, arena dirt which has drained really, really well. We had some, some really good rain the past few days and uh, it was, it was standing water. Yeah, it was literally standing water one day and then ready to go the next day. So we've absolutely loved it. It turns everything a shade of gold, which we actually don't mind. Um, but yeah, we're super stoked with it. So that is the barn tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of YouTube TV Barn Cribs, but uh, yeah. That's our barn. We love it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.